Okay, hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'd just like to demonstrate how to make a movie clip with its own independent timeline. Now, in the previous lesson, when you were creating a banner uh, for the Battle of the Bands presentation, uh, we had uh, these musical notes that had to appear in the top left-hand corner and needed to be visible for the entire length of the movie. Now, the movie is around about 240 frames. Now, what a lot of people have been doing when they've been creating this movie is um, creating that, that process where the musical notes are jiggling a little bit, moving about, uh, and then copying those frames and then repeating them in the main movie timeline. So people would be doing something like this where they'd, um, they'd extend their timeline, create a motion tween, and then you know every, every few frames they'd make, the, they'd make it do something different, and so on and so on and so on. Um, if I just do something quickly here. Uh, something like that okay and then they take those 40 frames and then they'd copy frames and paste frames and they'd keep doing that until they reach the desired length of time now there's a couple of problems with that one it's a little bit messy uh, the timeline the main movie timeline gets get, can, will get quite big um, and if you imagine a movie that's you know five or six minutes in length then that's going to be Lots of different layers, lots of different timings, and it just becomes a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit messy and a little bit uh, complicated. The timeline, or more complicated than it needs to be. Um, what we should really be doing is creating movie clips where most of the animation happens within inside the movie clip itself, um, and then we drop that movie clip onto the main movie timeline, and the, the animation is then independent. So I'm just going to undo everything I've just done. There, go back to step number one. So I've got a blank timeline ready to go. So to do that, to get that effect, I've got um, some musical notes that I've already put on the stage and you can see over here on the right hand side it's already a movie clip, okay? And it's in the library there, it's called Notes, okay? So that's the first thing you, uh, you will need to do is, is to get to that point there. The second thing I'm going to do, and this may seem strange, is I'm going to turn that into a movie clip again. So I'm going to press F8 and I'm going to call this Animated Notes. And the reason I'm doing this is because once I've created a symbol, I'm going to double click on that movie clip and I'm going to go inside the, the movie clip itself where its own timeline is. And if I want to animate it, it needs to be a symbol within that timeline as well. So I'll show you what I mean by that and I've just realised I've accidentally made it a button. So I'm just going to quickly change it back to a movie clip, uh, which just when you make it yourself, just make sure you make a movie clip. Uh, you can always undo that and uh, redo it again, uh, but it needs to be movie clip like that on the right hand side. So I'm going to double click on that, and you can see here at the top left, you can see I'm inside the animated notes movie clip there. And if I click on that, you should find over on the right hand side, you've got a movie clip instance of notes there. Right, now, all we need to do now is create our... our um, our motion tween. So again, I'm just gonna. I'm, this is only gonna last a second. So I've chosen 24 frames. I'm then gonna right-click on that that layer and choose Create Motion Tween. Okay, and then every five frames or so, I'm just going to um, move it. So I'm gonna start off so it goes off to the right slightly. Frame 10, back to the middle. Frame 15, to the left. Frame 20, back to the middle, like that, okay. Now, what effect have we got there? Okay, I think I'm, this might not be perfect, but I'll, I think that'll do for now. Okay, so, so I've got to do something like that, all right? So, that... That's now finished. I'm happy with the animation. It's not perfect. It's going to have a slight uh, uh, the join at the beginning of the end when it loops isn't going to be perfect. But I'm not too bothered about getting it perfect at this at this point. So to come back out of that, if you press on the blue arrow, that will take you back to the main movie timeline. Now the thing to point out here is just notice that on frame number one, there's nothing else. There's after that frame number one, it's just purely one frame in length. Okay, when you if you want to test out your um, your movie clip, if you press control and enter, this is the only time you'll actually see animations within a movie clip working. So even though that our movie is only one frame in length, you can see that that movie clip is now looping over and over, 
playing the, its entire animation on its own. So it's got its own independent timeline, independent to the main movie timeline, and that is how we should be making those musical notes for the uh, Battle of the Bands banner. Okay. A technique that you need to be aware of, something that I'd like you to use in your assignments, uh, movie clips with their own timeline do make things much easier to control when you have uh, quite a busy timeline going on, you've got lots of different objects and so on and so on. The other advantage I'll quickly show you is that once you've made it once, you can add, add it again by dragging it in from the library and there you go, you've got two replicas on the stage at the same time.